this is Dawn here at Lifeline Therapy and Marianne Drevna from Breathe PA. We're respiratory therapists and it is Asthma Awareness Month and we are here today to teach you how to use a peak flow meter. Uh, the peak flow meter is going to help you understand when your lungs are sort of starting to, when you're starting to sort of run into some difficulty breathing. Uh, it's a great tool to use um, to know whether you're going to need to take your bronchodilator or not. you how to use your peak flow meter. You're going to take a big breath in and hold it. Blow out as hard and fast as you can. So now Wait, we're going to demonstrate Should I stand that. up? You should stand up. All right. I'm you get stand more up. air into your lungs when you stand up. We're going to make it a contest. So, big breath in. Blow out hard and fast. Okay. And the little red indicator on here goes up to show how far you went. And then... We're going to push that back down because we're going to repeat this three times to get our average. You ready? We're going to go again. Big breath in. Ooh. Ooh. And you're keeping track. You should be writing on a piece of paper what your numbers are. Now we're going to go back down and one more time. Big breath in. demonstrated how to properly use it, we have to show you the calculations for how you figure out if you're in trouble or not. So I did mine three times, and you always want to take your personal best number. My personal best was 400. So I'm going to calculate 80% of that, which would be 320. So now I'm going to move my indicator for my green and yellow up to 320, and then 50% of that would be 200, so I want to set my red indicator at 200. The importance of this is when you start to feel like you're in, pro in trouble, you blow into your peak flow. If you're above the green, you're good to go. If you're in the yellow, that means you need to do your rescue inhaler, then repeat the peak flow. If it goes back up into your green, you're okay. If it does not, you need to call your doctor. If you're in the red, you always need to use your rescue. It's important to remember that now that we've done the calculations, what are you going to do with those calculations, and are they the normal for just today, or are you going to do it different tomorrow or the next day? So we ask you to uh, record your numbers every day for at least two weeks. Um, you should do it later in the afternoon. Uh, when your breathing is pretty much better than it is first thing in the morning um, and write your numbers down, do your personal best and then at the end of that two weeks find your absolute personal best, the highest number you have and then reset your peak flow meter. So how do you clean your peak flow meter? It is important to keep it clean for sure because you are putting your mouth on there, you're breathing through it um, we recommend that you uh, put it in the dishwasher uh, at least once a week, uh, especially if you're using it every day for those first couple of weeks and then sort of as needed. You can also put it in warm soapy water, uh, agitate it a little bit, let it soak for 10 minutes, and then rinse it very well, let it air dry. Uh, 